What's up guys, Original here, coming at you with another tutorial, it's called How to Get Sony Vegas 11 for Free, 32-Bit and 64. Alright, so check it out. This link is not going to be on Sony Creative's website because, obviously, they have the Sony Vegas 12 trial now. So anyways, but this link uh, is going to cover you for the patch files and the, the download for Sony Vegas. And it's going to be Mediafire. So basically what you're going to want to do is, uh, I'll put this link in the description, and, oh wait, let me tell you this, what this supports. Okay, so if you have Windows Vista, you need Service Pack 2, which you can download for free on MicrosoftOffice.com. Not Office, just Microsoft.com. Anyways, um, and it supports any version of Windows 7, 32-bit, or 64. So, let's get started. First, you're going to click on this link. It's going to be Ad Fly. It's going to be a five-second ad, and then you can skip it, and it's all good. So wait five seconds and get ready to skip. Okay, so skip the ad. Let's get started. Click the download button. Okay, that's done. Now, in the meantime, you're gonna want to get WinRAR, which will be the other link in the description if you don't have it already. And if you don't know what it is, it's a file extractor because I had to extract these files into a folder so you could get them all in one. So you're going to go to this website, and you're basically going to click right here, software name, downloads, WinRAR, x86, 32-bit, 4.20, and x64, 64-bit, 4.20. So I got a 64. I'm going to click 64, whatever you have. Click whatever you have. And if you're not sure, just click 32-bit because 64 can download 32-bit stuff. So, all right. And this is going to take about six minutes as it's saying, and which means my internet is running slow. But I call it Verizon. Okay, well, I'm going to pause the video and I'll get back to you after it's done downloading. Okay, what's up, guys? I'm back. That took about like five minutes for me. And if you have fast connection, Verizon, or any other user, it should only take you about like two to three minutes because usually standard. Downloads are at one megabyte per second, and when it's at one megabyte per second, it downloads at like approximately three minutes. So basically, what you're gonna want to do is after you download and install WinRAR, which I'll show you how to do that right now, just double click this real quick. It's gonna ask you if you want to uh, say yes or no to it. Click yes. It's gonna open it up and just click install. Or if you if it doesn't say that, just go next, 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 and then click install. I already have it, so I'm not going to do that. So now what you're going to want to do, you're going to click on this and right-click, extract here. It's going to extract the files, and you should get them on your desktop in the second. Hold on. There they are. Let me uh, do this real quick. There we go. Okay. Now, what you're going to want to do, you're going to extract it again because I had to put them both in, um, ex what do you call it? Not extraction, but whatever. I had to put them both in one large to uh, make the file size smaller so I could upload it to media file. So anyways, what you're going to do, you're going to extract both of them again. And this should take a little bit because it's the bigger file. It's probably about like 178 megabytes. It's, it's the bigger of the two. So now you got that right here. And this guy's a little bit tricky because watch, I'll show you what he wants to do. So... Uh, let me close this guy. What the fuck am I doing? Okay, so you're gonna right click this one and you're gonna extract here. And hold on, what the? Be right back, guys. Let me get a different downloader of that one. That one's shit. No, actually, what the fuck? Never mind, never mind. Okay, so just right click, extract here, and the password's gonna be J0ZH321. Click OK, and look. Oh, it's a virus. No, it's not. So what you're going to do, you're going to click on your virus protection and you're going to go to settings. You're going to go to antivirus and just turn them both off. And if you have any other user, just find antivirus and turn it off. This is not a virus. Basically, if you have good virus protection, what your computer's virus protection is doing, it's detecting this as sending stuff to an address that is not recognized and noticing that is it is a cracking tool so after you turn off your antivirus click extract here again j0zh321 that will 
Oh shit! What? The... Yes, two all. What? Okay. Holy, what's going on? Oh my, I'm raging. Okay, fuck it. Let's do this. Basically, mm, extract here, blah blah. Let's do this again. J Z the rage three two one. Boom. There it is. Okay, we're good. Now you got your your Sony Vegas Pro patch. Oh, what the fuck? What, what's going on with my shit? Fuck this guy. He's stupid. Okay, so extract here after you turn off your antivirus. And um, now what you're gonna want to do? You're gonna open up Sony Vegas 11, and it's gonna ask you if you want to run it as administrator because it has this little shield icon. And wait for this guy to open up. Click yes on the little information thing that pops up, and it's gonna open up in a second. Give my computer some slack because it's running slow. Okay, now it's opening up. Click English. Next. Install current version. You don't want the newer 11 because it will crash on you every fucking second because they're trying to patch it. How to get it for free? So install current version. Click next. I agree to the terms. Click next. Create a shortcut on desktop unless you don't want to, and then click install. And this should take a little bit. So I'll come back after it's done. Okay, guys, I'm back as this is uh, wrapping up here, and uh, yeah. It's only take about like five seconds after that, and overall, this only took me about probably a minute and a half, so it shouldn't take too long as long as you uh, have good processes. So, there it goes, it's about to finish up. There you go, click finish, and now what you're gonna wanna do, you don't wanna click on this icon yet, you just wanna leave it alone, and now you're gonna click on your patch. It's gonna ask you for a run as administrator, and then when it pops up, click yes. And then you're going to click on this little capture button. It looks like a videotape play pause thing. Yeah, click on that. You're going to go to computer, Acer, or whatever your name is. It's C drive. And then you're going to click the drop down menu. You're going to go down to program files 86 if you're running 64 bit. If you're running at 32, go on to program files and find Sony. Which I, oh yeah, it's right here. Okay. This is for Vegas 10 and Vegas 12, whatever. So 32 bit go on program files and 64 bits go on program files 86. So I'm 64 bit, I'm going on 86. And you should be able to scroll down and find Sony. Once you click on, once you find it, click the drop down, find Vegas Pro 11, click OK, click add, this little plus button, click it until you can't see it, and craft me. And this should only take about like mm, approximately 30, 30 seconds, if not 30 seconds, and my processes, processes are probably better than yours. And if yours is faster than mine, then your processes are better than me, or my computer, whatever. Nevertheless, it doesn't take that long, so let's get this over with. Come on, hurry up. Mm, and three, two, one, and... Okay, oh, enjoy. And if you have this message that says enjoy, you're good to go. Now click this little stupid smiley face. This is X. And now you're going to want to do is open up your Vegas Pro 11 shortcut. Waiting. Waiting. Now click next. And click yes. Oh my gosh. Come on. Oh, uh, what the f is going on? Holy D. My computer sucks. What, what the f is happening? What did I click on? I'm just trying to open up Sony Vegas Pro. Did I, did I miss a step? Holy D. Raging. Okay, well, holy sh I need to pause this video real quick to make sure my Vegas 12 is, or 11 is going to open. Be right. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I don't know what went wrong. So, anyways, this is going to pop up, and you're going to click next. And it just asked me if I want to whatever. Okay, just click yes on that info box if you get that. And, um, yeah. Now you've got to wait for Sony Vegas 11 to open. What the fuck is going on, man? This is some bullshit. 
nigga. Raging. Okay, hold on, guys. Okay, there we go. Now, this is what it should do for you. You're going to double click this icon and it's going to ask you if you want to allow this program. If it doesn't ask you that, it's just going to have you go to the menu and click next and it'll ask you for a serial number. So, this is what you're going to want to do. You're going to click on this key gen right here. Double click. Click continue. Wait for that to open. Alright, there we go. Now you're going to click on the product name, scroll down to Sony Vegas Pro 9, 32 bit, and 64 series. Now you're going to generate the code a couple times. Boom. Copy the serial number. Click Control C for copying. Paste it in here. You're going to change the first, the first column, the second, and third digit to T4 to match this one. There you go. Now you're going to click Next. Register from another computer. Um, just type in some random ass shit so they don't track your address down and be like, yo, why are you still in our shit, you know? So after that, click next. Click save to documents. Um, no, I don't want to replace it because I already have one. Okay. Now you're going to click next and it's going to ask you for this authentication code. So you're going to want to keep this open. Sorry if I didn't mention that. But follow my steps. And control V. There it is. Click finish. What do you know? You got Sony Vegas 11 for free. So that wraps it up for this video. Um, if you guys have any questions, I will uh, more than likely be happy to answer those for you. And I will put the password for the keygen and patch in the description. I'm sorry that it has a pass password. I didn't create it nor did I uh, create the file so I will put that in there and I'm sorry that it's uh that it has a password so I'm just gonna wait for this to open up so I can show you guys that it works so it should be in like two seconds and uh let me uh, add this to my taskbar and you see right here I got Sony Vegas 12 pretty sick and I got my photoshop after effects because I'm an editor in GFX and I'm freaking cool and there it is what do you know sony vegas 11 for free all right guys and if you guys are an editor or you want video settings please check out my tutorial i have render settings customized to the best quality in a so there it is you got your video shit it's pretty pretty cool now you're gonna click x on that and that wraps it up for this video and if you guys have any questions pm me inbox me and uh don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching my video and have a nice day.